Alex. Love that shirt on you today. Your hair looks amazing, Danica. Our solo, whatever you're doing's working, brother. Right. Hey, Countryside Pastors, we're so glad that you're here this morning for this special meeting. Everyone that's watching online right now, we love you. You're part of our family. Hey, let's welcome all those that are joining us today. Well, we're so glad that you're here. You're enjoying this cooler weather. Oh, my goodness, it's amazing, this cooler weather that we're having. Today, I'm so excited. We have a special guest joining us. Yeah, um, I Pastor. just noticed that we hadn't worshipped yet, so I just wanted to... There's joy in the house of the Lord. Come on, it out. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Come on. If you hey, not, sure quiet. Like not today. We will be quiet then. Yeah, okay. not today. Okay. We had three worship songs last meeting. We need to get to it. Guys, once again, Pastor Andrew Davis is our special guest. Let's welcome him to the ones. All right, so something that is crucial for the, for the future of our church is keeping vision in front of people. Just like in the Bible, it says, without vision, the people perish. So something that is huge and I think is going to be revolutionary to our church, signage. I am so excited for the signage idea. I, I know some people say, hey, less is more. I'm on the opposite side. It's almost like I'm from Texas. I think more is more, bigger is better. I think this is gonna be revolutionary. Man, I am so excited. You know, we don't need more signs, okay? More is not always better. You know what type of signs we need? We need restroom. And the sign in the North Lobby, that's 35 feet up in the air. No one even sees that thing. I mean, what are we doing here? There's purpose in your pain in the bathroom stall. Are you kidding me? Pastor Andrew, if I may, just for a moment, I, I love the idea, but perhaps it's a little inappropriate to keep putting signage in the bathroom. I mean, over the urinals, God sees you, God loves you, you matter, might be a little too much for people. Just, just one opinion on the table here. Just stop killing my dreams. Please. We're, we're trying to bring vision, okay? We're, we're trying to have a good vibe. We're, we're trying to have all these different things. So Andrew wants to dream bigger, and I just, I don't know, signs are dreaming bigger. I feel like maybe, like longer worship sets maybe for once. Maybe we do like, maybe the whole service could be worship. Listen, just, just help me out. Think bigger. Think wider. Think Better wording. I, I don't know. We just, it's room temperature. We yeah. need to be thinking. What, what what can we do? Who has any? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. What a nice guy. Wait, Thank you. Thank you. All right, back where we were. Stop. Thank you. Thank oh yeah. You. I take my job very seriously. I'm the assistant youth pastor. He thinks he's the assistant youth pastor. He's the assistant to the youth pastor. Well, I've been writing stuff down. I made this sign. Matthew you said 22. signage, Love. signage. Now, this isn't, this isn't good, but this is good energy. Okay, yeah. this is the type of energy we're looking for. I'm not gonna put this on a wall. I may take it home and put it on my fridge, okay. but this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. This is a very, Childlike, which is great. You're the children's pastor. We love you. We appreciate you, but we're looking for like, I don't know, like 18 to like eight. Jesus said okay. to enter the kingdom of heaven and have to be like a little child. You know what we should do then? Why don't we just let all of our kids just draw on all the walls? So we let that they happen? would love that. You know what? Let's just, let's just reschedule this. Let's just push it down next week. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed right now. A little underwhelmed at the moment. So, Pastor Tim, what do you think? What do you... Oh, I think, wasn't that a great message? Yeah. That was really so good. good. Really, really that good. That was really, really good. It's a good so, word. You know what? Why doesn't everybody just stand for a moment I to receive this. a blessing? I need this. You know, we do this blessing after every single meeting. This time, I just I might just sit this one out just to see what happens. So if you would just open your hearts to the Lord, if you'd like, you can turn your palms upward in attitude of receiving. May the Lord bless you all today. Yeah, man. Don't you want God's countenance to shine upon you? No, you're right, you're right. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you 
and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, we love you all. Have a wonderful Tuesday.